In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a funnel, not a paper funnel though, like a real funnel on the internet. I'm going to walk you through my seven step process. All of you can go through this in order to build and set up your funnel. And then I'm going to walk you through some of the tools that I use and recommend to like actually make this happen. Let's jump in. Here's the seven step process to building a funnel. One, take inventory of your products and services. Two, think through the customer journey. Three, identify your sales Legos. We'll talk about what all this means, of course. Three, identify the sales Legos. Four, map out your sales Legos into the shape of a funnel on a piece of paper or using software. Five, build it. Build the sales Legos, build the funnel. Step six, integrate all the different sales Legos together just to make sure everything's working. And then the last step, number seven, is to test the funnel before you launch it. So there's seven steps, but actually those last three or four are kind of like the same step of actually building it out. So let's go through these one by one. Steps number one and two are actually gonna kind of tackle together because they're related. Take inventory of your product or your service. Now you may not be like me. I literally got so overwhelmed with all the different courses and stuff I've created. I literally had to create a tracking spreadsheet to like organize and group them. Even if you don't have to do that, it's important to take a little inventory of uh, small priced items, your main service. You could have multiple products in a funnel. You could have freebies that lead up to your products. You take inventory of the assets, the courses, the freebies, the services, the offers, like all that stuff. I find it helpful to just make a list and organize them so that you can map them out into a funnel in a second. Step number two in this process, most people skip, quite frankly, after you kind of have the end in mind, the products and the freebies or whatever, to actually think through the customer journey. Go check out the first video if you don't really understand what a funnel is, but you need to think through how long should it take to get people from just discovering my brand to paying me money for something? What are the different steps along the way? What is the customer journey? First, they need to learn I exist. Then they need to know my story because that's relevant to them so they can trust me. Then they need to see the product without me pitching it. And then they need to this, and then they need to this, and then I need to convince them they need this, and then I need to sell them that whatever. Like think through the customer buying journey all the way from just encountering your brand to paying your product. Just taking five, 10 an hour to think through that journey and what your customer needs, how they need to be pushed. How do you need to talk to them throughout the different stages of the funnel? That can be really helpful when it comes to actually writing the emails, actually setting up the landing pages and stuff like that. Understanding your customer journey is mandatory before you start building things out. Step number three in this process is to identify your sales Legos, the building blocks of your funnels, landing pages, sales pages, thank you pages, emails, webinar pages, texts you need to send, applications, the building blocks of a funnel, the stuff you actually need to put out there on the internet. So these yellow ones might be landing pages, two different opt-ins you have maybe, or maybe just like one opt-in. And then eventually we're gonna have a sales page. Maybe there's like an upsell page or a bump offer or something like that. A thank you page maybe here at the end and maybe like a little email sequence. Somebody like opts in on the landing page, they get to send all the emails that all point to the sales pages and then after they buy, they go to the thank you page, right? Identify the things you need to build. All the emails, all of the landing pages, all the sales pages. Maybe you have to duplicate this because you're using deadline funnels. Maybe you have a separate sales page that goes to a checkout page. Maybe those are two different URLs. Like identify the building blocks of your funnel. Identify what I like to call the sales Legos that you can put together and assemble and create your funnel. Step five in this process is to now you have to go build the funnel. You have to build those sales Legos. I'm going to talk about tools here in just a second. What I actually recommend doing is starting from the beginning and working your way up to the end. Really, if you're using a freebie or lead magnet or something like that, or webinar or whatever that is, work on that first. Working on getting that implemented, built out completely first. And then you can do your emails all at once, like in bulk. And then you can make sure your sales page is dialed in and you have to integrate that with Podio or Teachable or whatever to like deliver your thing or schedule once if they're booking a call, like whatever. Start up here, the lead magnet, the freebies or whatever, and then work your way down through emails, sales pages, integrations, stuff like that. Go build the sales Legos. And step number six is obviously to integrate the sales Legos. You kind of the same step. Again, build out all the landing pages, write the emails and set them up, actually implement them using your tools and then you got to make sure things are actually being delivered whatever software you use to deliver your freebie whatever software you use to deliver your course whatever software you use for blah 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 make sure things are 
integrated and talking with each other. We'll talk a little bit about that in the tools section below. And the last step, I can't emphasize this enough, is to literally test your funnel. The whole thing as best you can. Even if you have to pay yourself money to buy your own products just to make sure emails are firing, just to make sure people are directing you to your landing page, like URLs are working, nothing's broken, test it extensively. Every single funnel I've ever built has something wrong with it. 100% of the time. And sometimes I figure it out when I do a testing. Sometimes somebody emails me like, I, I did not get my thing, Pete, that I signed up for. And then I have to go figure that out and break it. And now it's awkward and embarrassing because there was like 700 other people that I put through the funnel that got the wrong thing or just test your funnel. That's the last step. All right, let's go talk about tools. The first sales Lego block I want to talk about is pages, landing pages, sales pages, that sort of thing. You got a few options. If you are a blogger, creator on a budget, you're probably just gonna have a WordPress website with a page. You go under your WordPress dashboard, create a page. You can embed a opt-in form from MailChimp, MailerLite, ConvertKit, whatever you use, and then you can use that little email sequence or whatever email software you use to deliver said freebie, right? And then you can send a follow-up sequence or whatever. If you have a sales page, you might be doing the same thing, but we'll talk about that in a second. You could also use a tool like Elementor, by the way. would make that so much easier. That's a WordPress plugin. That's actually what I use uh, historically for almost all of my stuff, one hour blog post, even blog.com. This is an Elementor page that I built. You can use a page builder, Beaver plugin or whatever. You can also use something like a lead pages. I just switched over to lead pages a couple of months ago, just honestly, because it's easy to track. It's able to do AB testing. It's, this is a little bit more advanced, but not terribly so. It just costs more money, right? I had to pay for lead pages where Elementor, I just paid once and now I have it on my entire site. I could build my pages that way. And of course there's a million of them like Unbounce, Instapage, lead pages. I mean, there's a ton of these things, but uh, somewhere to build URLs, websites, pages for lead magnets and sales pages where you put buttons and stuff like that. Next up, emails. I'm not going to give you a recommended email service provider, an ESP, mainly because it's a hot topic for debate and I don't really care. At this point in time, they're all like, there's not one that's like way better than the other. They're all pretty good. I personally use Active Campaign and MailChimp. Yes, I have a two email service provider system. I use fancy automations and stuff like that for active campaign, but I actually move those subscribers after they go through my funnels into MailChimp because it's easier, it's more straightforward. Their email builder is way better and it's like a lot cheaper, right? So I use those two, but you can use ConvertKit, MailerLite, whatever that is. I can't give everybody a one size fits all recommendation there. It's whatever you want and whatever your budget allows. Now, payment capture slash actual housing of products. A lot of this depends on your product or your service. If you do courses or membership platforms, you're gonna need a tool to do that. If you do some other freelance services and you're getting people in a funnel to you know, sell, pitch your freelance services, whatever, that's a little bit different. I'm gonna make a strong recommendation right here for all-in-one platforms, especially for beginners or those low on a budget. It may think it's kind of pricey to pay for Podia, which is what I recommend, by the way, or Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi, Kartra. These are sort of all-in-one platforms where you can have courses, you can upload PDFs people can download and have the landing page and sales page right here. You can build those pages for your products. You can also set up memberships through all of these platforms where people pay you a recurring fee or whatnot. You can send emails, follow-up emails, a nurture sequence emails really from all of these platforms. By the way, in my opinion, on, just my opinion. Podia is by far the best for this. I do have a Podia review video, which you go check out. I'll try and link to it somewhere here or in the description. Go check out everything I have on Podia. I got a full series and a tutorial, but I recommend a, a one and done sort of tool. Now, obviously, if you're slightly more advanced, a little bit more control over your funnel and all the processes, bumps, upsells, checkout forms, different stuff like that, you'll need a different software. I use Thrivecart as a checkout platform. There's also uh, Samcart, it's more expensive. Sendow, Payhip are two other less expensive options. These are checkout softwares. You can do embeddable checkout forms. You can have separate URLs with checkout forms. They're really powerful. You can do a lot of different things with these. You can also just use stuff like Shopify. That's more of a e-commerce solution. You can use WooCommerce too, really. But you can integrate that stuff with however you deliver your products, whether that's Kajabi or Podia or anything else. That's like a step up, a little bit more advanced. And by the way, you can also just use like a PayPal button or PayPal or PayPal checkout is a pretty new solution. I'm not going to cover those in this video so you can go check them out, but that also is a free-ish, that's really cheap and free solution for accepting 
payments. All right, so you have a landing page tool to build landing pages and sales pages. You have a tool to actually house your products or your courses or whatever that is and accept payments for it, whether it's that same platform like Apodia or a different platform like Samcart or Thrivecart integrated with Podia. Integrations, right? I suggest for anybody starting out with marketing automation to start with the built-in integrations, meaning Podia has a built-in integration with ConvertKit right in your Podia dashboard. You can come in, connect Active Campaign or anything, really. I think I have that even in my Elementor for Bloggers here. You can directly integrate with your email service provider and that sort of stuff. Like whenever somebody opts in, whenever somebody buys Elementor for Bloggers, I want them to get on my mailing list for Active Campaign integrations, right? Uh, this is a direct, a built-in integration. Another tool, obviously, if you're a little bit more advanced, a step up would be to use a tool like Zapier, Zapier, I don't know how to say it. I've used them for like three or four years and absolutely love it. If you don't know what this is, this is basically one tool that can connect all of your other tools on the internet. It's absolutely insane how many tools Zapier works with. And this is what I use. I have somebody purchase something on Thrivecart, which is my checkout thing. And I use this tool to, you see I have a lot of different zaps here, this tool to enroll them in Podia. And then I have them, you can send an email from here. You can also integrate with your to-do list to welcome this person, or you can plug in different tools for the free plan, I, I don't know if you get all these different steps. I pay for this, like 20 bucks a month. But you can also use this for all your integration needs. And if you want to dive in a little bit deeper on the techie marketing automation sides, go check out the next video in this funnel series on YouTube. Really quick, here are my overall tool recommendation setups for funnel builders. If you are a beginning creator, blogger, etc., kind of on a budget, I truly recommend an all-in-one platform. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest Podia. It's what I use. I love it for courses and memberships. And you can also create freebies and deliver lead magnets. You can also do your emails right there, or it's really easy to connect to like a MailChimp or a ConvertKit or something like that. You can accept payments there. It's just like one monthly fee and you're good to go. I recommend that for beginning funnel builders. Now, one step up for that, I'm actually gonna recommend a dedicated landing page software and sales pages and stuff like that. A dedicated email service provider, for sure, like a MailChimp, MailerLite, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign Drip, et cetera. And then a dedicated product software. You know, Sendal, Thrivecart to deliver your products, plus like Podia or Teachable or Thinkific or whatever else you use. Just like three or four different tools in there. Landing pages you could also do on WordPress, but you could also use Sendal and then use the free version of Thrivecart to integrate everything. Just try and keep things like less than four or five. Landing page software, even if it's on your own website. Email service provider, product slash, you know, payment capture. That is my recommended tools. And then if you're an advanced funnel builder, you probably don't need this, really. But you can dive in and specifically pay for, you know, tools with advanced analytics, like an Unbounce, Instapage, lead pages, stuff like that. You're probably going to be using Samcart or Thrivecart and integrating that with Podia and however else you deliver products. And then you have, like, deadline funnels. If you're doing evergreen funnels with countdown timers and automations and stuff like that, you're definitely going to need Zapier. Like, that's the advanced funnel builder. And speaking of which, let's go to the next video in this series on marketing automations and I will walk through some of the text. So I'll kind of show you some behind the scenes of how this stuff sort of works and is actually implemented on the internet. So go check out that video. And of course, go check out my funnel roadmap at doyouvenblog.com slash funnel. That's in the link in the description below. Hashtag YouTube, hashtag YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. I love you blog tribe. Happy funnel building and we'll see you in the next video. Adios.